thought I'd get an early night tonight. <clears throat> My wife always used to tell me I should start taking early nights. All those years in bands in the 60s and 70s, staying up till 6, 7 in the morning sometimes. I know it's not good for you, but... Been doing it for 30 odd years. It's not done me much harm yet. But it's hard to break a routine, isn't it? That's what I used to tell my wife when she'd tell me off for eating in the bed. Too many crumbs on the sheets, she'd say. Well, I tried to tell her the same about eating in my car. I used to find half-eaten biscuits, peanuts, all sorts under the seats. Still, she's my ex-wife now. She doesn't have to worry about crumbs in her sheets, and I don't have to worry about crumbs in my car. Well, unless her fancy man eats in the bed. It eats food in the bed. And it's not as if I have to worry much about food in the car anymore since that got taken away from me. Oh, well, she took that from me as well. She claimed it was her car and that mine was the van. Well, that wouldn't have been too bad if the van hadn't been written off ten years earlier. Strange how some people live in the past, isn't it? Oh yeah, here it goes, right on cue. <sighs> They're good lads downstairs. Oh, not very clean, but, but good hearts. I remember telling them when I first moved in that the thing I missed most about my house was the garden. I told them that, and now they let me look after their herbs down in the basement. Herbs, they call them. I'm not stupid. I was in bands in the 70s. I know what lads get up to. But still, I'm just happy to help. They're good lads, really. My wife never let me look after her flowers like that. I'll wait a bit before dinner, I think. My beans aren't going anywhere. I don't mind all this though. I was exactly the same as a lad. Used to stay up all night playing my guitar sometimes. Drove my parents mad. And my wife. Ex-wife. Still, that's what it takes to become a world-class musician. I should know. Well, I should know. We never got any of the breaks in any of my bands. I mean, it's not like it was today. You know, you can't upload songs. Me and my brother used to go knocking on doors trying to sell our records. We did it the hard way, but it was fun. And, you know, didn't do too bad out of it. You can get anything on the internet nowadays though, can't you? Not that I'd know. The boys downstairs have a connection, but I didn't want to share. A waste of money. Besides, it's not as if I'm missing out. I'm quite happy living my life without the internet. I don't have a computer anyway. Oh, yeah, it always gets turned up around this time. I don't mind, though. If I need to sleep, I just wrap my pillow around my head. Used to do that when my wife used to come home late at night, shouting like she does. If she clutched the pillow hard enough, it almost sounds like the soft mumbling of a violent film, which I don't mind. Nearly a year to the day since I moved in here, found the room when she chucked me out, waiting on that divorce. Not a bad little room. Bed, table, window, drawers. My TV works sometimes as well. I don't see the point in finding anywhere bigger. It's just me. There's no point. Don't have the money. All my fault, the divorce, you know. Well, that's what she said. You know what women are like, they always have to be right. I don't blame her. Never had the time for much else than music. But my wife used to have a great time travelling with us to all the venues up and down the country. When she had the baby, obviously, she had to stay at home. But I had to keep doing it, though. We needed the money. Used to come home to all kinds of talk, though. 
Everyone used to say my wife was seeing other men. Some even said our baby wasn't even mine. Oh, I got time for an hour, haven't I? You can't blame me for getting a little paranoid, though. Good looking woman, my wife. Ex wife. But you always drift apart, don't you? Even if one of you pushes. I noticed the signs. I was sat playing Ethel one day. Ethel's my guitar. And the new strings on it just snapped right off. That's her over there. Can't afford to get it restringed at the moment either. My wife had only been weakening them with the scissors. It was then I first noticed that we had a bit of a problem. That, and she burned all my clothes. I noticed the signs. I don't even have music anymore. Well, I suppose I have their music. But there's nothing to occupy me, nothing to craft, just sitting in the corner, feeling useless, gathering dust and crumbs, completely lifeless. Right, I'd best be off to sleep in a bit. <clears throat> Been up since 5am, you know, well, just out of habit. You do it every weekday for 30 odd years and it becomes built in, doesn't it? I haven't e eaten yet, actually. I can hear the kitchen next door. Always seems to be full. I don't want to bother them or get in their way. Good lads they are. No dining table in this house either. I have to use my lap. I've never used my lap so much in my life. Forever sweeping crumbs off me. My wife would hate that. Not too fussed about food anyway these days. Don't want to sleep on a full stomach. I'll only end up wanting to go to the toilet in the night, and that toilet's not very pleasant. No one seems to buy toilet roll. Not a fussy to me. My wife always used to tell me how important it was to get a home-cooked meal every day, get all your vitamins. Now, I don't buy into that. Besides, we don't have a proper oven in the kitchen anymore. One of the lads sold it. But you'd be surprised what you can do with bread, jam, marmite, you can toast it, although the toaster's always being used. I think I'll just eat it as it is. <sighs> if my wife saw me now eating dry bread, ex-wife. 